hello. Sorry, running a little bit late. Louise just left for the day. So we're just out the front chatting. All right. I have got a hot mess going on here. All the mess in the world, but that's okay. It's, it's going to happen. Just gonna wait for a few people to show up and turn in and say hi. Hello, Susan, you have caught it from the start. Well done. All right, guys. Welcome to live Facebook number 12 for the weekend. I am extremely sick of myself, so thank you very much for staying with me. Uh, what I haven't done is put an apron on. Hang on a moment. And I had about as much time as I needed to clean up, go to the bathroom, upload the video to YouTube, decide what I was going to do next, and now I'm back again. So it's it's been a crazy day. This afternoon, I'm going to talk to you about Lindy's sprays. Hello, Bevis, my lovely. I'm going to talk to you about Lindy's sprays and how you can use Lindy's sprays with chipboard and stencils. Uh, this is going to be a really, really fun project. Um, I'm going to show you, I've done lots and lots of sprays, videos, and lots and lots of live Facebooks using Lindy's in the past. I've been using them for years and years and years, and you have all heard me bang on about them time and time and time again. But today, I'm going to go through some simple techniques with you to start with, and then I'm going to whip up a quick scrapbook layout. Um, so, yes. We are good. All right, so for those of you just tuning in for the first time, welcome to a lazy Sunday afternoon session, and I will try and be on my best behavior. Absolutely no guarantees on that. Um, we have got Lindy sprays and chipboard and all scrap effects products um, at 15% off today. We have been crazy busy. I have not had time to scratch myself, have not had time to do very much at all. You guys are keeping us on our toes and we appreciate that. So this is just a friendly reminder as well. Um, if I have not got back to your emails, phone calls, text messages, please don't expect me to do so for a few more days. We are snowed here and we will be closed Monday and Tuesday to the public uh, and packing your orders and getting them all out to you. So, the daily prize draw. Every order that you place online over this weekend goes in the draw to win a prize. So, uh, we've had a lucky, a lucky winner from yesterday, a lucky winner from Friday, and there will be a lucky winner from tomorrow's draw, which I'll paste, paste on Facebook in the morning. Righty-o, nataliemay.com.au is what you need to know. There we go. Done. Right, let's do this. So, Lindy's Sprays. Lindy's gang, as you know, have been around for 25 plus years. The sprays are fabulous. They are a fantastic product. Oh, here comes the guy on the Harley again. Go on, rev it, mate. I dare you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> sorry. So the Lindy sprays are fantastic. When you buy a Lindy's Gang spray, it comes in what you think is an empty bottle. It is light, there's nothing to it, there's no liquid in it. On the side, there are instructions that say to use. Add warm water to the fill line, let sit for 10 minutes, shake before each use and enjoy. What I do here in Adelaide is I boil some filtered tap water. I have like a um, like a filter on my tap for drinking water. But I boil some water in the kettle, get all of the stuff, well, let, that just boils out all the imperf 
perfection, impurities, all the crap, gets rid of all the crap out of your water. Anyway, so we want to boil the water, then bring it back down to room temperature. Then I give it a shake, tap it on my hand like that, take the nozzle off, fill it up to the fill line, which is there, put the lid back on, give it a shake and let it sit for 10 minutes before using. You do not put boiling water in it. You do bring it back to room temperature a bit. So what I tend to do is boil the kettle, let it sit for five and then do it. So, so it's not so hot that when you hold the bottle, it's not gonna burn your hand. So that is what happens for it. So the reason they do this, it is easier for transporting them to you. This is just a sample of a few of the colors. We have got a very broad range of colors with the sprays. Um, we, I do love that they come in sets. So this one, for example, is the Autumn Leaves set. And I showed you this same set in the Magicals in the last video. So as you can see, they are all empty. There is no liquid in them. They are just a powder. They also have this is one of the newer sets. This is the Outer Space set, and I'm gonna be using some of these colors today. It's Alien Goo Green, Outer Space Aqua, Martian Magenta, UFO Olive, Olive <laughs> UFO Yellow, and Galactic Teal. And as you can see, they're lovely bright colors. And then they have the Moon Shadow Sprays. And I'll, be, I'll do a quick demo shortly with the Moon Shadow Sprays. These are one of the original products that Lindy's bought out. So Moon Shadow Sprays, are slightly different, all right? The colors are different, but you can still see that they are empty and you have to activate them. Righty-o, let's do this. I'm going to, I've got some marshmallow cardstock here, just plain white, heavy duty cardstock. It's not, my camera's crooked. It's not a, um, watercolor paper and it's not a oh I don't know it's not a it's 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 not a thin paper it's a good quality mixed media paper so let me talk to you first about moon shadow sprays so moon shadow sprays have got moon shadow mist written across the front so that's how you know there are two colors that I have here. The names are written on the sides. This one is called Tawny Turquoise. This one is called Buccaneer Bay Blue. Can you see the good stuff in the bottom here? I haven't shaken these up yet. Got paint on my knuckles. Um, I haven't shaken them yet. But what it means is the Moon Shadow Sprays have a a walnut or a sepia colored liquid, which you can kind of see in the bottle there, but the shimmer is where the good stuff is, right? So the shimmer is what makes it work really, really well. So once I give these a good shake, it's going to be a brown colored spray with a blue shimmer. This one is going to be a brown colored spray with this lovely teal shimmer. I've just got a stencil girl stencil here. Not very clean, that's okay. And because my stencil is nine by 12, it's not, an a, uh, not a 12 by 12 stencil, because I don't have any that, not how to have me handy. I'm just gonna mask off this side of the spray, this side of the paper. Okay, so I shake them backwards and forwards up and down. I'm more than happy to shake the heck out of it. Hello, Vicky. Hello, Tina. Hello, the whole lot of you. I'm not going to do shout outs to everyone because, you know, nobody wants to hear that. I always test it to make sure it works first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it backwards and forwards to spray. Now I'm going to add this one as well, Tawny Turquoise. I'm going to mix these babies together a bit, testing it. And you can see that it's brown. So they've got this gorgeous sepia coloured mist, but the shimmer 
is where the where the good stuff comes out. So now I'm going to lift this up, and what you'll see, hopefully, is a hot mess. But the shimmer that's sitting on top has got a smidgen of blue in it. And when it dries, you'll notice it even more. So I'm gonna whip up a heap of backgrounds just by grabbing my paper. And now I'm gonna use that as a stab because like I did in the live Facebook yesterday, waste not, want not. And I'm just gonna leave that sitting on there and pop it aside. And once these are dried, I'm gonna pull them back up to camera and I'll be able to show you. So if I do it without a, actually I wanna do it on a piece of chipboard because that's where it shows up best. Here's a piece of scrap chipboard. So here we go. So like I mentioned before, a piece of chipboard is porous. So it's gonna hold the liquid and the color and the shimmer is gonna sit on top. So there's the Buccaneer Bay Blue. You see that blue tinge to it? And this one is the, what did I say this was? Tawny Turquoise. And you can see the shimmer that sits on top. It's gone to a real um, blue shimmer and this one's got a real turquoise shimmer, okay? I've got another one here called Incandescent Copper. This is my go-to copper color. It is gorgeous, love it. It is absolutely divine. And I've used it so much. And you can see that it has made my chipboard quite a shiny, glossy copper color. So this is a good example on chipboard of showing what the, what the color's like. But when we do it on card, when we do it on card stock, So that is the incandescent copper. Oh, and that pump's just died on that one. I'm gonna come back to it. Now, the Lindy sprays, I also sell replacement nozzles for them. Um, I do love me a replacement nozzle to have handy. Uh, something else I like to do with it, I'm just gonna add some plain Adelaide, fancy Adelaide water, turn that back. And now I'm putting on that Buccaneer Bay Blue. And I'm gonna let that dry and sit. Chrissy, we are going to be doing a scrapbook layout in a moment. Chrissy's just tuned in going, um, what have you, what are you doing? Other than making a hot mess, babe, I am playing with some Lindy's. So I'm just laying down some paper towel on the floor here so these can dry. Bear with me a second. Didn't do it before I started. So you can see that, how good that looks. And how good it's gonna look when it dries up. Okie dokie, back to, let's do another one here with some stencils. I've got my, my scattered leaves and I'm going to pop this across here. And that was dirty to start with. And I've got some more paper towel here. This is a paper towel mess and I'm gonna mask off my leaves. So I'm gonna do this so any extra spray that you get doesn't go where you don't want it to go. Okay, lining it up.
like that, like that, like that. Now let's do this in a different color. Let's go with Lucky Shamrock Green. So this is a Starburst spray, which means that it's going to have shimmer. And I am going to anchor it down there. Anchor it down there. Just making sure that I'm all covered up there. I'm going to add another colour to it, another green, just because I can. Do the same thing again. I'm just going to go down a bit and I'm going to mask it off again. Gonna to have to mask it off in a couple of spots this time. Okay. In the real world, I would have dried that side off first, but for demonstration purposes, we're doing it this way today. And I would have masked it off a little better as well. If you don't mask it off, you can use your hand, but I find that it doesn't always work in my favour. So just by taking a second to get some paper towel, and masking it off, And if I had done that with a little bit more care, it would look fantastic. And then I've got all this good stuff sitting on here and we know what has to happen to that. I need to get another piece of cardstock. Um, I don't have a piece of cardstock. There we go. So I'm just going to use a piece of computer printer paper and drop it down. And I'm just going to let that sit on there and dry. Okay, so we are using sprays. There's a massive range of colors available in the Lindy's sprays and they are super good. So as this is drying up now, you can see what's happened. That tawny turquoise has pretty much become, the, sh the shimmer's just sitting on top of the chipboard. It's still wet, but you can see that shimmer sitting on the top. That copper is amazing. It is so good for masculine projects. And Buccaneer Bay Blue has totally just coloured that blue. So they look really, really good. Um, I'm just going to pull some of the ones off the floor to show you. So here's that, that first one that we just did with the quilts. So you can see that it's got that lovely brown spray. But the shimmer is where the magic is. And this is still sitting on here, so I'm going to peel this off. And I'm going to throw that out there so I remember to clean it. And you can see that it has stamped the stencil and the shimmer that was sitting on top of the stencil has also transferred to the paper. Lovely and crisp. Really clever. The other one is still drying. I'm going to let that still dry. That one is the one I just put on there then. And that's just on the computer printer paper. But the shimmer is, you can still see the shimmer sitting there. Um, all right. So there you go. So the Lindy sprays are really, really fun and easy to use. On chipboard, like I showed you in the last video... The rainbow chipboard that I've got here. So this is gesso and I have sealed the chipboard with gesso. I haven't here. Okay, so you can see the difference how it works there. So even if I spray it, it'll do exactly the same thing. So this is probably one of my favorite sprays because it combines two colors 
that work really well together. So um, yes, I'm cracking out the purple. But what's really good about this color is that it's called Sweet Violet Purple Teal. And you can see the teal shimmer. You can see why it's called Sweet Violet Purple Teal. Although I'm not a purple person, I love this. And I can intensify this now by adding, that was some magenta, and I can add some time travel teal. And I can mix these colors together and let them sit and dry, and they're gonna look amazing. So I'm gonna pop that aside. Um, so that's on raw chipboard. On wood veneer, which is a very similar sort of surface, here's one I prepared earlier. So this is one that I did for a demonstration at an event that we had here in Adelaide. So this is a two layered piece of chipboard. So let's have a look at it in the two separate layers. The color that is sitting, that I have sprayed this one with, is Sweet Violet Purple Teal. And you can see that the purple has colored the chipboard, but the teal, I'm trying to catch it on camera, you can kind of see the teal there, all right? It is super cool. And then the second color, is I don't know oh, I don't know one of the teals galactic teal with a gold base to it um, lucky shamrock which is the one that I just use here I've used that one okay so you can see that shimmer that sits on top how good is that so when they are together on this divine piece of chipboard which is 12 by 12 I could glue that together and I have got the base for a, a chipboard layout. Or I could pop it on a piece of white and we are good to go. See how cool that looks? So what I'm going to do today, I'm just gonna leave that there, is I have um, some dusty attic chipboard and it is a it's a big wreath that I have already pulled out of here and I'm going to color this and I'm going to then pop um, put it on a scrapbook layout so what am I going to color it with being a a leafy wreath sort of thing I might even use a piece of chipboard to a piece of card to spray spray over the top, pop that aside, let's get that out of the picture completely. And I want to do this in blues and greens. So I'm going to start off here with Lucky Shamrock Teal. Now um, a couple of tips on when you are spray spraying, when you are spraying, um, and I'll do it on this to show you. A lot, a lot of feedback I get from people is I don't like it when I get it squirts. It does that. I call that an ink fart. It does an ink fart. And that comes with no confidence. If you don't have confidence in what you are doing, you're going to get that. But if you want to do something confidently, you get it on there like you mean it. You don't fluff around. You just get it done. It's like you are putting um, your, you know, when you put hairspray on your hair, you don't just go in one spot, do you? You go across. You move your hand like that. And that is what we're wanting to do. See? How good's that? So back to my layout. I want to color my chipboard and I want to color it in I don't know I'm gonna do it in teal and purple 
and I'm just going to start spraying around my chipboard. So there's my teal. And I have another blue here, bachelor button blue. Slightly different. I have a little bit of a green here. Now keep in mind, I'm coloring my chipboard, but I'm also making a pretty background at the same time. Multitasking here. So I'm really not wasting it. So I'm gonna pick this up, pop it aside, and it has a really lovely color to it. I'm just gonna pop it over there. And I have now created that. So I need to pop that on the floor. Because that's not today's layout. And come back to my chipboard. And I want to dry this off. <sighs> Radio. So this is where you watch me dry paint for a couple of moments because I want to see what color. Because like I mentioned, chipboard is porous, so it's going to soak in all that water. But what I want to happen is all of that shimmer is going to sit on top. And all of the color of the ink is going to sit on top. So this is where I sing to you. No, I don't. Nobody needs to hear that. And that's enough. So that looks pretty good. I really quite like it. I'm going to bring it up. Um, there's going to be no kit for this, Alison. Sorry, sweetheart. You're just going to have to buy the products and follow along online because I don't have... I, I can't do this in a kit. This is definitely not a kit thing. <laughs> All right, so what I want to do now is I need to create a scrapbook layout. So let's go with something cute and easy. Um, I've got my... Pretend photo, which is going to be too big. Scissors are here. Um, four by four. Right, this is going to be my photo. This is why I don't teach face classes. So there's my photo. So what I wanna do now is I wanna build around this. I want my photo to go on this side. Uh, I want to, I know my photo is gonna go about here. And I know that my photo is going to need to be lifted with chipboard or cardboard or a scrap of something, something. And I'm going to need some embellishments. Uh, I don't have any embellishments handy except for the packet that I opened 
earlier. So, hey, stuff it. Let's use those. What the hell? So, I'm actually, I've got a couple of pieces of cardboard here. And I'm going to use that to mount my photo. And I really didn't think this through. That's a Natalie thing. Uh, about what colour embellishments are in this kit. But, hey, maybe I'll just take a moment. And see what we've got here. Oh yeah, I've got some flowers. Okay. So this is the Vicky Booten Colour Study uh, embellishments. Don't want those. I could use that. Yeah, maybe. Well, that's a lot. Um, that could work. That could work. So when I'm looking through the embellishments, I'm looking for things with similar colours, similar tones. I've got purples in the background here. That's what I'm looking for. And I don't know that I love that orange, but I do love this teal. Oh, we have a bonus butterfly. Couple of little flowers. That one's got purple in it. That'll come in handy. No, no, no. Love a budgie. Love a moth. All right, so I've got quite a few embellishments here that I can use. So uh, I've got my keep pile and I've got my throw pile. That's my throw pile and I'm gonna get that out of my way. This is my keep pile of things that I'm going to shuffle around for half an hour because, you know, that's what we do. And what I want to do now is I want to add some colour underneath here. So the colour that I'm going to choose, I want to grab, I don't know, uh, I want to grab something in maybe pinks. All right. Because there's some pinks in here. I don't have any pink made up in a spray at the moment in front of me. I have some of this purple, so I can use that. Now, I don't have to use it um, as a... I don't have to use it as a spray on here. I can dip my paintbrush into it. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that aside, and I'm going to come back to that in a moment. And I still have left over from my previous live Facebook, my little palette here. So I might give that a go as well. Uh, with a paintbrush, I wanna get a paintbrush that's gonna hold a decent amount of liquid. Um, so I've got a, a round paintbrush. Uh, and I've got some paper towel handy because I want to be able to not spread this any further than necessary. And I know that that colour is hot pink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a shake. Take the lid off. And I'm going to dip my paintbrush straight into here. So this is a handy little tip if for whatever reason you're, you get um, blocking. So I've just tapped it on in a splatter. Now I'm just going to spread it out like that. I'm going to get my water spray with my fancy Adelaide water and activate that before it soaks in. And then it becomes like this little puddled wash. I always start where my photo is going to go because I I don't want it to, you know, I can, I've got an area where I can save if I need to. So same thing here. I'll come back there. I'm just going to splatter down 
extend it back, give it a little bit of dilution to take away any extra lines. Like that. A few drips. Because the heavy, the, the round paintbrush that is a decent sort of size, like a number 12, is going to hold plenty of liquid and that's what we wanted there. Right, I'm now going to put my lid back on. You'll notice it's still in my hand. That is so I don't knock it over on my desk because that's a thing. That is sweet violet purple teal. Alison, you can't find what? Oh, the fancy Adelaide water on the website. I don't know why not, darling. Um, this colour I'm just dipping into here is a hot pink. And I'm just going to add again a few little splatters of hot pink and pop a little out to the side here. Just puddle it, activate it with some water, and you can see what happens when you add the water. It kind of goes a bit bleedy, and that's what we want. Bleedy. Bleedy's not a word. You know what I mean. I want to take a little bit of that pink out here now. So I'm going to repeat that process up over here. Now you'll also notice that my paper towel is covering up some of the area that I don't want spray or, or liquid and that's because it doesn't need to be everywhere. Got a bit of bonus purple here. These are from the Magicals which you'll need to watch my previous video to learn all about. Because I'm not going over it again today. <sighs> right. Next thing I'm going to do is dry that because there's a lot going on here. So again, you're going to need to chat amongst yourselves while I dry that off. I have a quick drink break. This is a good indicator of how my day is going. Barocca in a 1.5 litre water bottle. up to camera in a moment because what is going what I need to show you is how the splatter has gone into the marshmallow cardstock and how the shimmer is sitting on top and that's really important to see as well um, now this technique works best on a good quality cardstock I do not use cheap Card stop. I do not use for this sort of purpose. I will usually use something that I know how it reacts. So I've tested quite a few different sorts of card stocks and I know what's going to work for me. I know that marshmallow card stock is fantastic for using sprays, but I also know that Kaiser Craft card stock, which is the other one that I sell is not great for this purpose. It does not react well with water. It reacts like a sponge. So it doesn't have the same effect. So getting to know your surface is also super important. I'm just gonna take those little puddles off. 
because I have zero patience to watch paint dry today. And it does actually show up on camera how well that shimmer sits there, yeah? Sweet Violet Purple Teal. It's a mouthful, but it's a colour you need in your stash. Jeanette Conway, what does that say? We're three at three. Are you drunk, doll? <laughs> All right, just joking. Let's have a look. Where are you? Oh, come on guys, it's about me. All right, so that's gonna go there and that's gonna go there. So I'm just gonna stick this down because if I fluff around with it, I change my mind and I am, I don't wanna do that today. I haven't got time for that. I need to go home and hang out with my family for a little um, and reply to some email. No, I'm not gonna to reply to emails. I'm not gonna do that till tomorrow. Um, we are going to have a lovely quiet evening. I'm just using the Art by Marlene sticky glue um, for this. The puzzle glue will work well, whatever your choice of adhesive, but I'm just putting glue on the big bits. Scrap effects do a fantastic range of chipboard as well. Um, just thinking about the other brands that I have in store at the moment. Stick, 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 stick. Stick, stick, stick. Radio. Okay, so I'm going to staple these edges now. I love me a stapler. A stapler is a fantastic tool, and I like the Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher. I use it for sticking down just about everything. Um, I love that it goes through chipboard, and it becomes an embellishment. That is the best thing. Make it a feature of your page. So you can't just do one, you've got to commit to a few. photo on sweet violet purple teal sweet violet purple teal if you type that into the search engine you will find those colors that's the idea of a website type in the name theoretically you will be able to find it all right there's my sexy photo Now, let's talk about some, uh, some of these little gorgeous bits here. And have a look at creating a cluster of images around my page. Um, I do love the budgie, but the budgie's facing the wrong way. He could go up there. Um, I love that, but I don't love the orange. It's a bit big. That's kind of cute. That's a lot, but could work. The yellow budgie could be the go. But 
There's a lot of white in these embellishments. Oh, that one's nice. And I'm very aware that I'm going to be covering, covering up a lot of my spray. Thank you, Vicky, the Link Ninja. because I can do all the things and I bloody well will, you just watch me. Um, well, you are watching me, who am I kidding? Uh, then there, I like that, but I, I don't like this extra leaf. Maybe it needs to go that way, there we go. There we go, there we go. All right, so I'm on the track, on the right track here. Um, the thing I like to do is just stick it down. I've just got to commit to it and stick it because I will sit here and I will fluff away and try and do this for the next half an hour and shuffle them. I've got my colours right. I know what has to kind of sit well. It's all about framing my photograph because this is all about, scrapbooking's about photos, so most importantly, you need to be framing your photo. So here's my photo and I am framing my photo. It's not necessarily all about the other stuff on the page. Um, it is about the photograph, okay? The process of framing your photograph is the fun bit. We know that. Stick. And you can see that I am taking my foam tape and doubling it over so that you can, so that I'm getting that extra bit of height. Do I want to do that here? No, I don't. I want to do that. I want to tuck it. So if I'm going to tuck it, I need to glue lift, slide, and the glue only goes on one side, and then I will take that tape. Oh, bugger. And lift up the edge. Uh, do I love that, or do I love that? Do I love that, do I? I need some green leaves. I need some green leaves from somewhere or some sort of green for balance. I also need a moth. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that white off because there's a little bit too much white up in these um, antennary things. So ladies, um, I'm very, very grateful to have your support this weekend while doing these live Facebooks. Um, I do these to say thank you to you for, for purchasing from nataliemay.com.au. These are my little thank you, little free thank you back to you. Um, thank you for supporting this small family business. Thank you for not going to large department stores to buy things $2 cheaper. Thank you, which shits me to tears like you would not believe. Um, thank you to you guys for um, your continual support. Um, I do know that some of you only have access to those bigger department stores, but I would not be here if it wasn't for your continued support. If you continue to go to Spotlight and Lincraft, um, it'll put us out of business and I cannot give you what I'm giving you today for free. All right, so um, thank you for that. Um, okay, I'm on the right track here. I'm loving this. I'm actually just going to cut a little off of here. Just like that. Because, again, there's a lot of white going on in the middle. So I'm just going to circle that around there, take some of that white off. 
Now, just a little bit of housekeeping. If you are in Adelaide, the shop here at Somerton Park will be closed until Wednesday. Adelaide ladies, if you have an order to pick up, your order will be ready for you to pick up from Wednesday, or we would love to see you at um, on Friday night for drinks and Christmas nibbles from 6 p.m. Please bring a plate. I will supply a glass or two for you to have a drink. Um, and please wear a mask because we don't do anything here in South Australia without a mask. Um, what else? There is, if you have not paid postage, then you will be sent an invoice for postage. Um, we still have to pay for postage, so unfortunately, so do you. I am not a big enough business to be able to offer free postage. But we are more than happy to have you join your orders together uh, so that you can have them bundled up. Oh, hello. And um, you just pay for postage one time. So thank you very much for you guys for supporting me with that. I will tomorrow morning be drawing uh, the daily prize draw for the order of today and your order one of the orders placed today will have a lucky prize popped into it and I won't be announcing that by live Facebook tomorrow. <laughs> I will just add it to an order so someone's going to get lucky. All right. See where we're going here? I don't mind the budgie up that side but it's kind of sitting a little bit out there. Maybe I can't put the budgie that way. I don't like the way that it's facing out of the page. It really does need to be facing into the page. And that's really distracting me. That's better. Um, the, any other thing else I've got? Maybe I could pop another butterfly. No. I wanted something green up in here, like a, a green leaf, this color for balance, didn't I? So let's have a look and see if I can take something from somewhere else and build on it. I'm just having a quick flick through my pile of ephemera here. Uh, Monica, you're after a stamp press. Can you please recommend one? I can. The one that I have a couple that I use, I have one that I have purchased out of the USA, which is the original company and that is called the Misty. Um, but here, I mean, and the only reason I have that one is because I've had it for years. Um, but the other one that I recommend is the one that we sell online, which is the Crafts For You brand. And that is quite inexpensive at about $40, I believe. Um, and it is, you will find that in, in the tools section on the website. Um, as a bit of a guideline, if you're ever asking, wanting to know what I recommend, I'll give you the hot tip. Having worked in this business, in this paper crafting industry, since my daughter was three, that's when I first started working in a scrapbook store, um, I've seen all the products come and go. As I purchase products in, I will only stock something here in the shop that I recommend, have been educated about, know something about, or can answer the question. Not very often do I turn around and say, nah, don't buy that, it's crap. I would not sell something if I think it's crap. That's pretty much how that goes. Um, Monica, the only place you can get a Misty is out of America, mate. Um, and to be perfectly honest, you pay a ton of money, but it does exactly the same thing as the $40 one that I sell, okay? To be honest, it, it's exactly that. I purchased, I haven't stuck that budgie down. The one that I purchased was about $130 uh, and it does exactly the same thing as a $40 one. And I wouldn't tell you that just for the sale because that's not how I roll, okay? That's not what it's about. I wouldn't sell it if I didn't use it. And I do have the craft, the Crafts For You one, the local one, the, the other branded one. 
in my personal stash that I use for classes. So yeah, honey, it works. It does what it needs to be done. What, what it needs to do, I should say. Um, so yeah, having 20 years of, of industry experience and now having my own online store has allowed me to stock the brands and the products that I know and I trust. Okay, so after listening to what you guys, as my customer, because it's what you guys want that counts, right? You listen to what you want and that's how I, I do it. And I will not order in, some people have asked me for certain products to stock and I refuse to stock them because I have A, not used them, B, I don't think that I need to be selling something that's cheap and nasty and made out of China. Um, I like a company, I like to, to stock a company brand that has longevity, that knows what it's talking about, that it has good company ethics, um, and I think that that's super important for me. But that's my opinion, so there you go. Okay, I love that. That's worked out really, really well. What I am going to do is I'm gonna add a little bit of white to this because it just needs a little bit of a pop. I've got a bit of depth over on that side. So I've got my paint pen. Whoops, and that's what I wanna do. I just wanna do a little lazy swipe. And the lovely Alison from Craft Avenue, she'll vouch for me. Won't you, darling? You know what I'm talking, you know that I'm, I'm I, I do talk a lot of shit because you know, we're women and that's what we do best. But um, I tend to, I like to think I have good, good business ethics when it comes to supporting and looking after, buy, buying in quality products, that's what I'm trying to get at. All right, so that little leaf that I tucked in there is balancing out that and that and that, which, um, which it needs. Um, let me bring it up to camera and we will go have a look here scrolling down through there it's all about that dimension hang on a minute hang on a minute all about dimension all about giving that little bit of lift to make it look like i've done something more than i have in real life this actually looks so much nicer this shimmer is really really great um, it's worked really really well now what i want to do is i just want to touch base again on some of those wonderful backgrounds that i made before and show you some of those things now that they've dried up so this is the Moon Shadow Spray Mist, okay? And you can see that gorgeous shimmer sitting on top. This is where I use my stencil as a stamp, just the dirty stencil. Alice has, just comment, Alice has just commented saying, I love the way you sound so down to earth, you make it look so easy. Um, Alice, it's not hard, babe. You just get it done. Okay? You just do it. Uh, they are my leaves that I did earlier, and that's what I stamped with, like use the stencil to stamp it onto the paper. So the other one that I did, that's still wet, where I flooded the paper, looks like this. So this is that incandescent copper on this side. If you love things that are steampunk and earthy and masculine, incandescent copper is the bomb.com. It is freaking amazing. This color down here, where I've mixed it together is the Buccaneer Bay Blue. All right, so absolutely gorgeous. And I'm gonna let that sit overnight and just evaporate so that that color sits there. And finally, that 
is what is left over from when I sprayed my wreath chipboard. And that looks great too, except for I did miss these corners and I'm gonna to have to fix that because it annoys me. Um, and now that gives me another layout ready to go, doesn't it? Waste not, want not. So this is on the Marshmallow cardstock. This is the good cardstock. This is the expensive cardstock. And what I will do with these, if I don't use them for a layout, I will cut them up and turn them into card fronts. I will make thank you cards out of them. I will do all of the things with them, but I'd never waste a piece of cardstock. Oh, Vicky Hurley, you link ninja you. Thank you. This is the Dusty Attic chipboard that was coated with gesso. So as you can see, the color is sitting on top of it really nicely. I'm gonna to have to put that in my art journal, I believe. That is beautiful. And the shimmer is all sorts of gorgeous. It floats my boat. What else can I show you? I have got down here as well, a piece of paper that has dried from this morning's live Facebook with the magicals where I sprinkled and spritzed some magicals. And can you now see on this canvas that I did from a month ago, the, the colors that we were just talking about? So you can see how I got that color there with the moon shadow spray, okay? And this color down in here with the moon shadow spray and on the edges, and I used the gold in her hair as well. So you can scroll back through my YouTube and you can see this video on how to do this, okay? I do have some of this rice paper on order again. Um, it's not in at the moment. This little baby is just a piece of chipboard. It's a background. Recommended retail is around the $18 for two pieces but you could easily just stick a photo on here and build it up from an embellishment after you spray it with chipboard, a chip, spray it with chipboard, <sighs> spray it with Lindy's. Um, so the two colors there, hang on. So pretty. Um, and then I have got a few, oh, here it is here. Let me show you. So these are some of the other chipboards that would make amazing backgrounds. So this is the, sorry about the glare, I'll try and hold it up. So this is the Minte Treehouse. So you could paint all of these individual flowers and leaves with Lindy's and your house individually. Love that. The Christmas decorations. Okay, if you scroll back through my YouTube and my Facebook, you will see I use the Lindy's sprays and Lindy's embossing powders to make six, seven different Christmas decorations uh, last month. And I did that live on Facebook as well. So there's full tutorial on how to do that. And these are 15% off as well. For you steampunk people, here's your clock. Love this. See, that would be beautiful in that copper, would it not? Here's another one here, the filigree square. Very similar design to that first one that I showed you with the laid, but this is just one single layer. The windows, chipboard window set from Minte, beautiful. And the wings, the angel wings, they're so lovely. Uh, this is another one of those frames. So this one is really lacy. And then you could use the circle for something else as well. Uh, if you like to make mini albums and tags, this is great. So this chipboard has got enough strength in it to be able to hold a lot of stuff that you can do to it. And you can stamp on them, you can spray them, you can ink them, you can do lots to them. Uh, the bird cages are divine. You can hang those as Christmas decorations. Spray them all in Lindy's or use um, some beautiful embossing powders on them. Pop some ribbon on them and hang them on your Christmas tree. Here is the raw chipboard of that one that I've just shown you. This is from AB Studios. This design is amazing. The girls at AB Studios have created some incredible designs using this piece of chipboard and this one. 
and they use it instead of cardstock as their base. So there's so many really cool things that you can do with this to create an awesome piece, all right? Okay, I'm done. I am a cooked chook. Um, absolutely knackered and three days of live Facebooks has got me, I'm just glad it wasn't four days to be honest. Um, no, not really, I love it. Louise has been packing orders like a boss and I've been sitting here in my office just making pretty stuff and talking to you guys. Love that. All right, so you have got until midnight tonight to get Christmas things 15% off, Lindy's products 15% off, the sprays, the magicals, the embossing powders 15% off, all Scrap Effects products, Scrap Effects stamps, stencils, chipboard, silhouettes, and junk journals are all 15% off as well as all things chipboard are 15% off. There are some mad specials in the show specials, including the Art by Marlene paints down to $7.50 at a single tube. We also have some storage solutions, I think, and lots of other goodies. So there you go. It has been a pleasure, ladies. It has been an absolute joy to hang out with you over uh, the last couple of days. Um, I have had a ball and I am super thankful for your support for ovarian cancer, as I mentioned in my previous video today. Uh, that means more to me than you realize. Um, and that I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for numerous reasons, but um, Ovarian cancer is something that is very, very close to my heart. So thank you very much for that, for your support. And the money will go to charity. And I will be adding a little, little wristband or a little token something in, the, in your order if you have made a donation. Um, as we are approaching rocky times again with COVID, wash your hands, kiss your kids, Wear a mask. Vaccinate if you can. I'm not going to get political and bullshit on about that because that's not what I do. But make smart choices and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Um, thanks, Sue. I am tired and you're all broke. Oh, my God, that's so funny. You've made my day. Um, you guys are simply the best. Thank you so much. Jump online to nataliemay.com.au. Make the most of today's special, and I look forward to chatting again soon.